Hey Doc, how you been? Byron, to be honest, I didn't expect to see you back here, especially after the Cadillac incident. Look, we, we talked about the Cadillac thing. The Cadillac thing wasn't my fault, all right? Let's... Ugh. What would you like to talk about? Well, to be honest, Doc, I've been driving this new Ford F-150 all week, and it's luxurious, it's nice to look at, it's tons of crazy features like the max recline, fold flat seats, and the enlarged infotainment system. They've got a hybrid now and all this stuff. And well, I suppose I just don't understand the truck's place in the world anymore. Now that's interesting. Let's talk about that. You know, when I was growing up, trucks were inexpensive and utilitarian. And now, why do you say that? You could practically hose one out, and you didn't care if you ran over the lawnmower on your way out of the garage in the morning. It just none of it mattered. It was just a it was just a a tool. I'm struggling with the the cost and the comfort features and the over the top conveniences. It's <sighs> you know these sixty, eighty, hundred thousand dollar half ton pickups that just they're so nice and pleasant i'd be worried about scratching one let alone loading it up with gravel and hauling it home what happened to eleven thousand dollar ford rangers with one of the fenders already rusting out you know that was a pickup truck when i was a kid now you can spend 10 times that now that's interesting. Let's talk about that. I mean, you look at these trucks and you've got the Chevys and GMCs, which are solid, but just not very exciting and feel kind of cheap inside. And you've got the Ram, which looks just amazing inside and out and has that fantastic back seat, but basically comes with three engines. And then you have this F-150. It seems like they built an F-150 for everybody. Now what makes you say that? That's something new. You got a V8, you've got a hybrid, you've got a diesel, you've got these turbocharged engines, you've got V6s without turbos on them. It... There's all this choice, you know? But it feels like Despite all of that variety, there's no F-150 for me. Now, why do you say that? Because my F-150 is still that 2006 Ford Ranger with the rust holes in the fender, you know? That's, that's my pickup. It's tough, you know? I go out there and I'm, and I'm constantly bombarded with this message that I shouldn't want to drive one of these. But then I do, and it's pleasant. And to be honest, Doc, it, it makes me kind of uncomfortable. So it sounds to me like what you're saying is that they're all too expensive, they're all too nice, and you want a boring old cheap truck. I mean, it has its downsides. The infotainment screen got bigger, but it didn't actually get better. You're talking about this one right here? I think it looks pretty good. But that's just me. You're the expert. Backseat didn't get a whole lot of attention. Sure, I can plug a TV in out back and watch the game, but... I don't know. This is why I feel like we're not going to have any kind of breakthrough here today. You're fixated on a time that just doesn't exist anymore. Honestly, Doc, sometimes I just feel like I don't even know what a pickup truck is anymore. See, it sounds to me like you're struggling with an internal conflict. You don't have a problem with new trucks. You don't have a problem with expensive trucks. You just live in this weird little space where there are still $11,000 Ford Rangers being sold on new dealer lots. 
This isn't 2008 anymore, man. It's time for you to get to the present. Live in the moment. Embrace the $60,000 half-ton pickup truck. The average cost of a new car is over $40,000 right now. Your idea of what constitutes affordable just doesn't exist anymore. And unfortunately, I think that's causing you a lot of mental anguish. And frankly, I think you need to get off the internet and stop talking to those people on Twitter if you hope to be healthy. But hey, what do I know? I'm just the expert. Well, Doc, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm not ready for a breakthrough yet. I'll tell you what, though. I have a Cadillac thing in, like, two, three weeks. I'll go ahead and book another session, just in case. <laughs>